Given the equation t cubed equals negative 8, the first thing that we want to do is take the cube root of the left and the right side, giving us t equals to negative 2. However, since t is to the third power, we need to find three solutions, as the direction suggests. So how do we find the other two? Well, we want to go ahead and bring that negative 8 to the left side of the equal sign, or we need to go ahead and add 8 so that we can set the equation equal to 0. And then to solve for t, we're going to be factoring this. And to factor, the first thing we want to do is make that 8 into 2 cubed. And then to uh, factor t cubed plus 2 cubed, we're going to be using this sum of cube formula. What it is is that we have a cubed plus b cubed. We take the a and the b into the front set of parentheses. And then we have a squared, b squared. And then last thing we have to do is just go ahead and multiply the a and b. But notice the sign in the front will be plus, whereas the sign in the second set of parentheses will be negative. So if we apply this formula, the sum of cube formula, to two, uh, t cubed plus 2 cubed, then we get t plus 2 in the first set of parentheses. And then we get t squared minus 2t. Notice the opposite sign, the plus in the front, minus in the back. And then, of course, we have the plus 2 squared, which is 4. Now we could go ahead and solve for t from the factored form. So from the t plus 2, we get t equals to negative 2. And then from the t squared minus 2t plus 2 squared, or 4, we need to go ahead and use quadratic formula or completing the square as it's not going to be factorable. So if we're going to be using the quadratic formula, it's going to be negative b, or negative of negative 2, plus minus square root of b squared, which is negative 2 squared, minus 4, times a, which is 1, times c, which is 4. So once again, a is 1, b is negative 2, and c is going to be the 4. We're going to put all of this over 2a, or 2 times 1. If we simplify this, it will be 2 plus minus square root of negative 12 all over 2. And then simplify this even more, it will be 2 plus minus 2i root 3 all over 2. So that negative sign, we took it out and became the i. And then the square root of 12, we have the 2 root 3. Let's continue. We're going to factor the 2 out to the front, making it 1 plus minus i root 3 all over 2, where the 2's cancel out, and here's our other two solutions, which will be 1 plus minus i root 3. So there you have it, folks. Given the equation t cubed equals negative 8, we found negative 2 and 1 plus minus I root 3 is a total of three solutions. So the main point of this lesson was to show you that when an equation is to the third power, there are three solutions, and also how to factor a sum of cubic binomials. Hope you enjoyed the lesson, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, hit that like button, and comment. Thank you.